So let's look at the following example that deals with the lens maker's equation. So let's begin. A certain convex meniscus lens has an index of refraction of 1.52. If the radius of curvature of the front surface of the lens is 23 centimeters and the radius of curvature of the back surface of the lens is 47 centimeters, we want to find the focal length A, B the image distance and C the magnification of our object that is placed 5 meters to the left of our lens. So let's begin by looking at the following diagram that depicts our convex meniscus lens. So a convex meniscus lens has a convex front surface and a concave back surface as shown in the following diagram. Now, we want to find in part A the focal length of our lens, the distance from the focal point to the center of our lens, knowing what R1 is and what R2 is as well as the index of refraction. Now R1 is simply the radius of curvature of the front surface, it's the distance from the front surface of the lens to the point C front where C front is the center of curvature of the front surface of the lens and R2 is the radius of curvature of the back surface of the lens it's the distance from the center of curvature of the back surface to the actual back surface of our lens so let's begin with part A and let's apply lens makers equation which states the following so 1 divided by the focal length f is equal to the product of n minus 1 and 1 divided by r1 plus 1 divided by r2 where n is the index of refraction of our lens. r1 is this distance and r2 is this distance. Now let's actually take this equation and solve for the focal length. So we get the following result. The focal length is equal to 1 divided by this product. So let's plug in our known values. So our n is 1.52. So 1.52 minus 1 multiplied by 1 divided by. So r1 is positive because the front surface is a convex surface. So we have 1 divided by 23 centimeters plus 1 divided by. Now r2 is negative because the back surface of the lens is a concave or a diverging surface and that means this is negative. Remember for a convex lens the radius of curvature is always positive for a concave lens the radius of curvature is always negative. So if we plug these values into our calculator and solve for f we see that the focal length of our lens is equal to approximately 86.6 centimeters. Now let's move on to part B. In part B we want to use the result from part A to solve for the image distance. So how far is the image formed from the center of our lens? So let's use the thin lens equation which states 1 divided by the focal length is equal to 1 divided by the object distance plus 1 divided by the image distance. So now let's rearrange our equation and bring the unknown to the left side and everything else to the right side. So 1 divided by the image distance what we're looking for is equal to 1 divided by the focal length which was found to be 86.6 centimeters minus 1 divided by the object distance. Now the object distance is 5 meters or equivalently 
500 centimeters. So 1 divided by 86.6 minus 1 divided by 500. So we plug that into our calculator and then we solve for our image distance di and the image distance is equal to approximately 105 centimeters. And finally, let's solve for part C. Now, by the way, the positive value for our image distance means that our image is found on the opposite side of where light is coming in. So if the object and the light is found on the left side, then that means our image is found on the right side. Now let's move on to part C. Now we want to find the magnification. So we use the lateral magnification equation. M, the magnification is equal to negative the image distance divided by the object distance. So negative 105 centimeters divided by 500 centimeters gives us a value of about negative 0.21. So this is our magnification, this is our image distance, and this is our focal length.